Hi folks, it's Zach here with All EV. Today we just wanted to give you a quick overview of one of our Tesla Model 3s. Just some simple day-to-day -day operation tips. So come on in and check it out. So even opening the door and, and getting into the car is something that's very different with a Tesla. First off, you've got a credit card style key. There is an RFID chip reader below this side view camera. You're just gonna place the key here, that unlocks the door. And then I find if you push with your thumb here on the door handle, you can pull with your other fingers to open it and hop in. So here we are inside the Model 3 Performance in our showroom. Uh, first off, I'm gonna go over the, uh, the image of the car here. As you can see, there is a lock above the uh, sunroof, as well as the trunk open and front open button here. So with a click of a button, you can open everything from inside the car, the charge port door as well. When you open the charge port door, you've got the uh, charging settings going on here. And when you leave the car, you can also, when you open the door, press on the lock button and the door is gonna lock behind you once it closes. When you get in your Tesla, this is how you would start it. You're gonna press on the brake and swipe the card behind the cup holder. There's another RFID chip reader here and that's gonna start the vehicle. To put this car into drive, you're gonna press on the brake and you're gonna press all the way down on the gear stock. Puts the car into drive, all the way up is gonna put the car into reverse. There's a setting below reverse, which is neutral. You're only gonna use that if you're needing to roll it onto a flatbed. And then we have the park button on the outside. Even the climate control system is super advanced in these cars. So here you have your traditional airflow directions. You have your defro or defog and defrost for the front and rear glass, your fan speed here, air conditioning, and a very cool feature of this car is you can pinch to direct the flow of air, whether you want it blowing directly at your face or around you, you could move it up or down as well. From the climate control, you also have your dog mode here. What that does is it locks the, uh, the climate control on uh, for your dog inside the vehicle. And when you get out and actually leave the car, it shows you the temperature of the car and it leaves a message for people that might be looking in on your car just to make sure that the, uh, the dog is safe. Here we are on the pedals and steering screen. This car is a Model 3 Performance, so you're gonna see the sport uh, setting here and also the track mode setting. Uh, but all of the cars are gonna look the same inside uh, with, with this menu. You're gonna have chill mode as an option. That's great if you have, a, say, a new driver that's not familiar with you know, the, the torque in an electric motor. Uh, it can often be overwhelming for some people, so oftentimes you'll, you'll have people that'll just put the car in chill mode, it lessens the acceleration, and it's also gonna prolong the range because you're using less power. The steering modes of this car, comfort standard and sport, we always recommend the sport if you're a little heavy footed. It really tightens up the steering so uh, you don't lose, lose your hold uh, when, when you're accelerating quickly. Standard is just your typical steering and comfort makes it very easy to turn the wheel, uh, which some people like, others do not. A cool safety feature of this car as well is if you're in drive and you forget to put it into park, which is a common thing with a brake hold on these vehicles, sometimes you forget that you, you've parked the car. And if you actually open the door with the car in drive, it's gonna give you this message here. Just for safety reasons, it's gonna prevent the car from rolling away once you hop out. Another thing to consider with this car, it's a common thing when, when we have folks on test drives, they get back, they put the car in park and they don't know how to turn it off. With these vehicles, all you're gonna have to do is put the car in park and actually open the door. And when the door closes behind you, the car shuts itself down. So uh, this is something new that was introduced in the late 2021 models. There's actually an image of the car here. Uh, it used to be that it was just a straight line across and a lot of people didn't know that that was how you're properly supposed to open the door. So you press on the button here and you'll see that it drops the, uh, the glass pane a little bit because there is no door frame. So when it closes, it pops back up and creates a perfect airtight seal. There's also a manual release on these doors, which is right here. So if the car actually was to run out of charge and you were locked in, there is a manual release. And the thing about that, it's, it's, it's not good to get into the habit of using that because it doesn't actually drop the, uh, the window. So you could have an issue when you're closing it that you may damage the window trim. 